Hello, my name is Karina Thompson and welcome to another episode in the series Mastering the Basics of My Sona Embroidery Software. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to find help and the reference guides within the software itself. If you're a subscriber or own a copy of MySonet or are just interested in finding out more about embroidery software, why not subscribe to our free YouTube channel and that way you won't miss out on any of our future episodes. In this video, I'm on a PC with the platinum level of software installed, but everything I show you, you'll be able to do in any of the paid for versions of the software. The principles are exactly the same on a Mac computer and later on in this video, I'll show you how to get specific help if you're on a Mac. So the most important thing to remember about the software is it's designed to try and help you. So for example, if I put my cursor over any button within the software, a dialog box will open and it will explain what that button does. That's a really useful tool particularly if you're just getting started and maybe can't remember what everything does. So for example, you might not remember what this little icon is down here on the film strip, but if you put your cursor over it, you can see it's telling me it's a super design. So that's a really useful, quick, easy way to find out what buttons do within the software. Now the second and most important feature is up here. It's actually the help tab. So if I click on that, I've got two options. This option here will tell me basically quite technical information, like for instance, what version of the software I'm uh, using. But this second button here, if I click on this, and I'm afraid you do need to be on the internet to do this. If I click on this, it opens up the online reference uh, guides. So for instance, you can see we've got information about getting started, welcome screen. You can see that this is a really useful tool to get, get yourself going. And we've got a couple of ways of using the online reference tool. There's an index option, which works just like the index on a regular publication, um, alphabetically. There's a glossary if there's a word that perhaps you don't specifically understand, but the feature I tend to use most is the search button. So for instance, if I want some information about fill patterns, I can type that in. You can see below I'm getting different versions. If it's something very specific. And you can see that I've got here 73 uh, results and if I click on fill pattern options here we go we've got information about fill pattern options and that's a really really useful way to find out information very specifically so let me now actually go on and talk about two ways that the my Sonet, uh, website can actually help you directly if you need help or access to the reference guides. So to start off with, I'm going to go to the download page. And if I click the download button, and you might remember this from when you installed your software. If I then scroll down, what I've got here is um, some software help. So there is a quick start guide. And again, I would strongly recommend that you uh, have a look at that if you're just getting started with the software. You'll find that very useful way. Um, this is basically uh, the reference manual to get you uh, qu started quickly. Let me go back. So I'm just going to close these two windows down. And what I want to do is talk about the help and guides because this is probably a very useful place to go. The release notes, again, that's quite technical information, but I'm going to click on help and guides. And so this is where you can either view online or download the reference guides. So I'm going to be working with the um, embroidery 
that's the main section and I'm just going to click the download because that'll take a little while let me just come back goodness me wrong uh, uh, tab there um, because you can see we've got two options here we've got the Windows option and can you remember I said if you're on a Mac I'll show you uh, some specific ways that, that uh, we can help you in terms of your Mac and so the Mac reference guides are specifically written if you're working on uh, a Mac um, because sometimes some of the terminology and where buttons are where features are are different between the PC and the Mac but what I'm actually going to do is you can see both versions you can view uh, online so if I click on that and here we are we are back on the online um, uh, reference manual just like I showed you before um, and uh, with all the features the index the search but let me go back to uh, my reference guide that I'm sure has downloaded by now but as you can see from here it's actually got 576 pages that's why it kind of takes um, a, a, a little bit of time to do that now what I'd like to do is I'm just going to show you so for instance on the contents you can see we've start off with sort of a basic uh, stuff getting more and more uh, in delving into areas of, of expertise and you can see that we've got lots and lots of information in here but it could be you say well actually um, I'm interested in pattern fill and here we are uh, it's saying it's page uh, 440 um, but the quickest way is actually if I then just click on that you can see it's taken me in actual fact because the index is not numbered um, it, it's the numbers are a little bit higher but you can see this has taken to me the information about the pattern fill and then I can scroll through here's the very specific information and this is the same information as the online version of the reference manual so hopefully you can see that's two ways that you can access the reference guides and for instance if you um, uh, have very limited access to the internet it might be that perhaps you do need to download and save the reference manuals so I'm also going to go back to the MySonet website because there's uh, another place where uh, the website can help you and that's over here on the Knowledge Center and if you click on uh, that page you can see we've got the Vantage Point newsletter and this is a monthly newsletter where a feature of the software is explained so for instance June 2021 they were talking about the Spyro sampler and if I click on here we've got the read more button and so this opens up the newsletter usually there's some kind of software lesson in there that um, uh, if you click on it you'll probably find a zipped file with um, free embroidery designs that are featured in here but more importantly there's usually a video of some kind and you can see we've got a PC version of the um, exercise and we've got a Mac version of the exercise so again that's another way that um, the MySonet website can support you whether or not you're on a PC or a Mac so just going back to the software my number one rule is if you're struggling within the software the first thing is put your pointer over whatever it is that you're not sure about and see if the dialog box that opens helps if not remember to go to the help tab over here at the top of the page and click on the help uh, question mark to open up the online reference guide if you found this a useful film please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can help you master the basics of MySonet embroidery software happy sewing